Welcome to my photo story. Today we'll be talking about the colon and the semicolon. We'll start with the colon. Have you ever wondered what a colon is? Or maybe you haven't seen one before. A colon is a punctuation mark. And here it is. You could imagine it to be like two beach balls or maybe snake eyes. One thing it does is introduces or leads into something that follows. For example, take a look at this sentence. Can you see how the colon introduces the second part of the sentence? Another way it is used is to break a sentence where the second half of the sentence explains or summarizes what comes in the first half. Take a look at this next example. Have a read of this sentence. Here you can see that the first half of the sentence talks about discovering a truth. Then after the colon, the truth is explained. It can also be used as an introduction of a list. Can you see how the colon introduces the items on this Christmas list? It's like it prepares you for something yet to come in the sentence. Now, let's talk about the semicolon. The semicolon is a punctuation mark that looks like a tadpole bouncing a ball on its head. The first thing it does is join two sentences together that are closely linked in meaning and are of equal importance. Here is an example. Can you see how these two parts of the sentence are balanced? The semicolon links them together to make one sentence. Another thing it does is break up lists. This sentence is pretty long, but it still holds together and makes sense because the semicolons break up the list of things seen in the park. Thank you for watching my photo story.